Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profood Accessions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Laravel Admin Panel Development Beginner Tutorial and this is our part 12. Inside this video session guys, we will complete our setting routes for menus like class, faculty and so on. And also guys, if you are a beginner to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions to get the clear concept about Laravel Admin Panel Development Tutorial. So in our previous video sessions guys, we have complete about the routes of add section and list section. So if you back to editor, this is basically what we have done inside our last video session. So we are going to complete all the routes for rest of the class, faculty and student inside this video session. So I am going to just open our left sidebar to attach all the routes. So back to our resources folder, inside views folder we have admin, we have views and I think it's in layout so if I open up layout inside this layout here we have a file called left sidebar okay so back to browser we have to cre firstly create the route for add class all we have done these two so back to web.php and let's say that route get and basically uh, when we click on the add class it means that we are going to add our class so it should be add class okay and the controller we will use for the classes section guys if you have remembered we have created the controller and the controller name is something called student class controller and it's not about student class controller it should be school class controller so let's say that school class controller inside this controller file we have to make a method something called add class or something called add class simply and also let's add a word okay something like that and we are going to make it as a named parameter so let's say name inside this name we have to pass let's say that add school class this is the name by the help of this name we will call by this route method so if I copy this name back to our left sidebar file scroll down and here we have to replace because this is the route for add class okay so inside this file just remove all these things and remember guys in our last video session we had discussed about there are two ways to put our route first way either we can use something called URL and inside this two method we have to put our route and if we not going to use this URL then instead of that we can use something called our route and inside this route we have to pass our name and here we have to pass as a route okay so basically what we can make by the help of this add class so if I go here this is add class so if I copy that back to slide so we have to put instead of this route we have to put add class or you can just put a forward slash but in case of route you have to put the route name and we have specified the name something called add school class so if I copy this name back to slide we have to put right here so these are the two ways that we have seen inside our previous video session so we are going to use this so if I copy that back to left sidebar and I'm going to paste it here so this is all about add school class so if I open school class controller and get rid of all these things these are the things actually by default Laravel controller provides so let's say public function and the method name that we have specified something called add school class so copy this method name and paste it here and for now let's say echo and this is add class method okay this is method all we have done with the add class route next we have to actually just back to browser next we have to add called list classes so if I copy this line if I copy this line and paste it here again and uh, scroll here and let's see that list classes same controller we have to use and this is all about let's see that list school classes this is not class this is classes and this is also list school 
classes this is route name so if I copy this method name back to controller and let's say that public function this is the method name and inside this method just I want to put a sample message so let's say this is listing all classes okay fine next back to left sidebar inside this left sidebar if I copy this route replace with this and also just I want to copy this route name copy this and uh, I have to paste it here so all we have these about these routes okay next what we have to do we have to create routes for our faculty section so if I close this class and open up faculty so we have to create these routes so back to our web.php file and inside this faculty routes let's say that route get and basically guys in our upcoming videos we'll discuss about these methods because route does not provide only a single method type it will provide multiple like any post so we will discuss about these methods in our upcoming videos where actually we will save some data to our database table okay so don't wor worry about these methods right now we are just creating the route for our pages so this is about so if I back to browser so this is add type so let's add this is about faculty type so add faculty type controller actually we will use for that and something something called faculty type controller so this should be faculty type controller and inside this controller we are going to use a method called add faculty type just create a name for that so name and let's say that add faculty type go to our left sidebar if I copy this syntax scroll down and instead of this type let's say that add copy this name and simply replace with that all we have done open up faculty type controller get rid of all the previous contents and uh, not all this is something like that and let me make a method called public function and simply we have to write the function name and the function name that we have specified something called add faculty type so copy that and paste it here let's say that echo this is add faculty type page ok save this file next we have to create I think that about list faculty types so back to web.php if I copy this line paste it here and let's say that this is list faculty types okay and this is the same controller and all we have to change something called list faculty types this is about method name and also here we have to change the name parameter something called list faculty types I'm just going to copy this name back to controller and let's say that public function and function name let's say that echo this is listing of faculty types ok save this file back to left sidebar inside this left sidebar just we have to copy this syntax instead of this index.html we have to put our own syntax so copy this name back to sidebar and paste it here so all we have done about the faculty types next we have to create about add faculty back to browser this is about add faculty so if I copy this line paste it here and let's say that add faculty just remove type here and all we have to use about faculty and this is the control that we have made called faculty controller so I am just removing type from here and this is about add faculty only ok so back here and let's say that add faculty just replace with F open up faculty controller and I'm just removing all these things first 
and inside that we have to create a method so first of all we have to close all these controllers because all we have done from those so if I copy this method name back to controller and let's say that public function and this is our function name and also let's say that echo this is add faculty page ok back to web.php file I'm just copying and pasting again the same line and replace with list that list faculties and inside that we have to just change the method name something called list faculties and also let's say that list faculties copy this method name back to controller and let's say that public function function name and let's say that echo this is listing of faculties and finally save this page save this also so we have completely done about this class as well as about this list now we have to create the routes for this student section so back to web.php and let's say that route get as a method and inside this let's say that add student and finally we have to use inside that about the controller and something we have controller called student controller so let's the student controller inside this controller we have to create a method called add student and finally let's say name this is about add student and something we have add student okay I'm just copying this route back here and just I'm going to close this add faculty this is about student controller so first of all we have to remove all these things and let's say public function add student this is add student page save this file also if I copy to go to left sidebar and also we haven't changed about these so I'm going to replace all these things first and this is about add faculty so for add faculty this is our name copy that go to left sidebar and this is about add faculty am I right yeah next we have to put about list faculties copy that and replace with this I'm going to copy this syntax scroll down all we have to do for the same as for the students so replace these things copy this name parameter back to left sidebar and replace with this and finally we have to create the route for our list students okay so I'm going to copy this line paste it here and all we have to change called list students and inside this student controller we have to create a method something called list and this is all about students okay and finally let's list students so if if I copy this method name back to our student controller and let's say that public function function name and this is equal let's say that this is listing of students save this file back to left sidebar copy the syntax and all we have to paste it here and just I'm going to change the name parameter so copy this name and replace with this so all we have done now so if I back to browser reload this page I'm going to copy called add section this is about if I copy add class this is all about add class if I go to faculty types this is listing faculty types students call list students and all we have done with all the routes so we have completed about the setting of all the routes that we will use inside this application some of the minor routes we will make by going through all those videos okay so now what we have to do next we have to create the link something called total sections if I click on more info it means that we have to redirect the page to our total sections called list sections we have to connect these two things 
Next, about total classes. We have to redirect ab about click on the total classes. It means that list classes. So same for faculties and students also. So back here and we have to open up our dashboard page because all we have separated the content. So here is something like that. Scroll down. This is about total sections. So inside this anchor tag for more info. So this is more info about total sections. So I'm just removing and let's say that route. Inside this route, we have to put about the name of list sections. So if I find about and this is list class sections and paste it here. And all we have to copy this syntax scroll down this is about total classes so and also let's see that faculties and uh, students okay or we have to change the name so total students we have called list students so copy this name go to dashboard and replace with this also go to top this is about faculties so i'm going to copy this list faculties this is about the name parameter and go to our dashboard page and let's say that list faculties and one mistake i did guys actually in the name parameter according to a laravel syntax laravel standard we have to put all in small case so actually here we did a mistake this is a capital f okay so we have to change into small f so list faculties and all we have to change inside this here so go here and uh, Okay, we are just actually repeating our mistakes again and again. So this is small f. This is also small and this is about f. Okay, all we have to change about the capital F into small f. So all we have done now. Save this page. Back to our dashboard page and all we have to change list faculties. All we have done and list classes. So here we have to change about the list classes school classes so here is something like that okay so we have completed so if I reload this page and uh, here we have called list faculties route not defined let me check that go to web.php and about list faculties and this is in small case okay so reload this page all we have set so if I click on total sections it is going to list sections if I click on total classes it is going to list classes and if I click on total students this is about the student route Okay, so by the help of this video session guys actually we understood and settings all the routes from menu section So inside next video session guys, we will something do more inside this playlist So if you have any doubt inside this video session guys, then please drop your comment I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys. Thank you for watching. Have a great day